170 pounds, stands six feet even, fighting out of Sterling, Virginia, James Porter! My name is David Porter, I'm 31 years old. I grew up in a, in a poor home, a poor community. I started training in martial arts when I was five years old in 1988. My mother was really big into the martial arts herself and she thought that me, my brother and my sister would all benefit from it. I was the target of a lot of abuse and uh, talked down to and picked on and bullied throughout my elementary school days, middle school, high school, and so I had to decide. Do I want to fight in school or do I want to fight on the way home from school? And every day was a struggle to get back home without a black eye. So martial arts showed me the tools that I needed to not be bullied, to not be the victim, to be aware of my surroundings and understand when I could be a target. So just the overall awareness and how I held myself and then the ability to also defend myself were the biggest components of why I stuck with martial arts into adulthood. And then when I made my transition into mixed martial arts, uh, ultimately I've had over 43 professional Thai fights, never had a loss, all wins. At one point or another I decided that my pro fighting career was coming to an end. I was still in my 20s, I wanted to have a little bit of uh, time in the military because I always wanted to do it. So before I aged out, I jumped into the Marine Corps and this was in 2009. When I was serving overseas in the Marine Corps, I went to Afghanistan twice in the Helmand province, which is southern Afghanistan, known for being the most kinetic environment over there. My job was an 0311 infantryman, and my job was basically what you would think when you hear Marines overseas, the, the door kickers hooking and jabbing, shooting at bad guys, and so on and so forth. When I started my second tour in Afghanistan with the Marine Corps, I was on an operation where we got put into a very rough area and it had a huge IED threat, an improvised explosive devices, the bombs that they're hidden in the ground and walls everywhere. We knew the place we were going into and having your wits about you and knowing your surroundings is huge. Um, martial arts gave me that ability to be focused, have my eyes keen, no threats, be aware. So. Even though some of these threats are basically invisible, your head is always on a swivel looking left and right. Even with that, um, I can only be in so many places at once. And on one such occasion, I had a friend who was out on a patrol. He stepped on a device and it forced him into a, a, a bad spot. He was uh, missing limbs, pretty badly hurt. And we immediately started taking care of him and keeping him calm he couldn't even see us, so we could just hear the sound of our voices. If you don't have a good control of your own um, enthusiasm or your own aggression or whatever it might be, whatever the situation is, you'll lose your cool. And in that particular situation, me having my cool was more important than anything else because I have to be responsible for this guy's life, not only in the treatment of it, but in keeping him from a higher state of shock. Subsequently, I've gotten an award for the actions I did over there, but I don't feel like I deserve them because, frankly, I wasn't going above and beyond the call of duty that day. It was more, I was in a situation that I was the best person for that job and I wasn't going to not do what I had to do. I got out of the Marine Corps in 2012. So when you're in the Marine Corps, everything is very aggressive. Uh, you're, you're taught to be a very physical presence. Everything about you is just supposed to be oozing with machismo. Um, when I got out, obviously you're not going to scream at every individual person you meet and, and just spit coming out of your mouth every word you say and being very aggressive. So learning how to be passive and a little bit more relaxed and or just having regular conversations, it was very difficult. But jujitsu translates to the gentle art. Not many people understand that it's more of a flow with the go kind of uh, martial art. You're not trying to force things against people. So when you're not trying to force things on people and you're learning to just go with a rhythm, it actually translates really well into your life too. I don't get mad when someone cuts me off on the street. I can't really control that. I'm not going to swipe back into them. That makes no sense. Instead, I'll just push my brakes and let them go ahead of me. Same thing was happening uh, all over my life just because of jujitsu. You have a very long shelf life with jujitsu. 
and I can see myself doing this for the next 20 years.